Right, we're back for shocks part two. Uh, I'll just do the one shock um, here. So um, we got the front one. I've checked the um, the droop or the stroke, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's 22 mil. I've measured it on the on the um, Benny calipers, and the rears are 28.5 mil. Um, the uh, thread lock's been curing overnight, so there's no worries about the uh, screw sort of uh, coming loose. So uh, now that's ready, we'll uh, we'll get to uh, filling it up. So I'll just sort of part fill it because it's a new build. Um, it will require a little bit more bleeding because um, you see all the air bubbles coming out once you uh, first fill it. So I like to work it up and down through the oil and the, let the, uh, the bubbles work their way up to the top. Uh, so now that's doing that, I will top that up so it's just sort of domed on top, and and then I'll do the uh, do the others. Right, so the uh, shocks are now filled with oil, um, and we're going to put the cap on the first one. So we've got the cap here. We've already pre-drilled the hole and got the O-ring in the top there. Uh, there is a, a bit of a void there so we like to fill that with a bit of oil on the especially on the on your first time you build them because um, otherwise you'll end up with a, a lot of air coming through so just put a little bit of oil in the top there um, these front shocks I'm gonna start off with a 300 CST so that's got a domed amount of oil in the top the shock is fully extended and there's your cap there and then we'll quickly Flip that on top, and oh, now I'm in the right mess. And give that, no, I haven't put this on yet. There we go. Right, so it's a bit messy. And then we'll just slowly push the shock shaft up. And then you can see lots of oil coming out the top. Not lots, just a bit. So I'll just wipe off the excess for now, um, hold that in one hand, actually I'll put it, put it back there briefly whilst I get my screw ready for the bleeder, 1.5 driver, and I will then angle the screw so it goes in at a slight angle, and the first time you put it in you will you need a little bit of force to get it in, but it's not a lot. Okay, so that's worked its way in. Don't, and then when it snugs up, don't force it. And then we'll pump the shock up and down about ten times and check the rebound. And very little rebound, and it's not sucking itself back in. So that doesn't need re bleeding. If it was. Uh, rebounding a lot then I would uh, take the bleeder screw out and then re-bleed it so all you got to do now really is give it a wipe and then what I like to do is uh, give the top area of the shock a blast with some brake cleaner just to get the excess silicon off uh, so here's my brake cleaner I don't like to use this stuff give it a little squirt over here so that's and then just right so that's now filled with oil and bled so now I just need to grab the spring slide it over and the spring collar and then I'll hold that down with one hand and push that until it clicks drop the uh, spring over those little tabs they're quite a tight fit as you can see they don't want to go on so it just needs a little bit of a wiggle and it's a nice tight fit on there and that is our one shot done just got to repeat that with the others and then that will be the shots ready to go on the car these are uh, the one piece caps are quite nice I've not not so used these yet so yeah very nice right moving on to the next three and now then we'll move uh, back to the Car build. 
I'll just do one more shock here. Uh, this is the uh, the rear. So this time I've got my screw already on my driver, which makes my life easier. And shock's filled pretty much flat with oil. And the top has a little splash of oil in it as well. And uh, this time, hopefully, it will go a little smoother. So I quickly flip that over and it goes straight on. I didn't realise how easy they thread together, so that's gone on really nice with minimal mess. And then I'll just slowly push the uh, shock shaft up. And very little bubbles in this one. So now that's ready for the, uh, the bleeder screw to go in. Now, that's much better than, uh, than the first shot for uh, lack of mess. Uh, but uh, yeah, so again, don't do the screw up really tight, doesn't need to do, doesn't need to be wound in tight. And then give it a good 10 pumps or something just to make sure it's fully worked in and there's no, so the shock's dead, it's not really rebounding, so that's good. Give it a clean up, back to, and uh, that's the last shock. Excellent.